G'day, my name is Mark, and I still love working with pallets. Pallets. I'm going to go with a Z frame, big chunky Z on either side of the tabletop. It's going to have pallet wood on this side and I've got some other timber that I've salvaged. We'll go on the inside where it's going to be dark. So I need a guesstimate. I like that word because it's, it's the equivalent of make shit up in some textbooks. I need to guesstimate how much of this I need to fill that space. Stand by for a montage. The best way to maximize this timber is to rip it down the middle and you double your stock. You can then glue it onto some dodgy board that you might find out the back dumpster and then you've got yourself some nice stock with your nice decorative timber up top. Stock doubled. I do understand that every time you run this through this saw, you're losing stock, but it's worth it. Okay, I've just put a chamfer on all of these lengths of the pallet wood laminations. The router table I've got hanging off the side of my table saw that made things really fast, safe and easy for me. I am not done chopping these up yet. So I need to have a length times width that's equal to the width. Maths. Okay, I've now got to come up with a little jig to chamfer the shit out of all these. Okay, the quickest, ugliest jig you'll ever see. Pallet gold bullion. Seriously, how good a pallet. Pretty happy I chose to sit on a stool for that. Little pallet bricks. Oh, I think these look pretty cool. Sometimes I drive to Bunnings thinking, what I need is some shit ply like this. And here it is on a pallet. This shit ply is gonna form the core of these Z legs. So just outside, I've got a heap of old decking that uh, someone donated to me from Instagram, which was really cool. I'm going to glue all that together, 
make some veneer with that and then use my little pallet tiles for the other side. So, why I'm talking a lot of rubbish here, there should be a montage playing, so hopefully you're enjoying that. And it is uh, filling in some of the blank spaces with a bit of background music and other cinemagraphic treats. Okay. Get quick. Okay, I'm now going to cut this decking into veneer. I want to see that side grain, just like a pallet wood lamination. I'm going to do that with a thin strip jig. This is a much safer, easier, and most importantly, it's very repeatable for getting nice veneers. For each cut, you'll move the fence to the bolt, lock off the fence, cut your veneer, unlock the fence, move the fence, lock off the fence, cut your veneer. How easy is that? Now I've banged on about this plastic bag heaps in the past. I've used it for making my own longboard skateboards, curved seats for chairs, all that sort of thing. These bags are only about 140 bucks. They are a very versatile clamp. Not gonna lie, there is always an element of panic when I do this. <laughs> supply is now getting a little bit less shit. I've now just got to figure out a way to cut these these sharp angles, making sure they're perfectly parallel. This is what I'm running with. I'm going to use my straightening jig but obviously this is hanging out. I can't reference this jig against the fence. So, is I'm going to create the low fence that this can pass over. This is parallel to the fence. So that'll allow me to push it through and get this first cut. The important part here is this cut is 90 degrees to this cut. So by right, if that is square, then that angle will be fine regardless if it's off this line. Our brain just figured it out. As long as I don't touch this, spin it round, then I'll get an exact parallel cut. That's the strangest piece of wood I've cut. I've got these off cuts, that's worked out perfectly. They're gonna provide the opposing force I need so I can actually clamp this thing together. So I've got my little chamferized tiles. I'm now gonna work my way around both of these Zs, uh, doing the herringbone, and it's gonna take some time.
there is a Z hiding under here. What I need to do is whip up a little track saw of sorts to help me cut all this out. Stand by, let me do that. I got sent these clamps from Banggood. Now, I'm gonna use those to make my own track saw. So, um, I'm not gonna review this item, but what I am gonna do is link to Ben. Ben has done a comprehensive review on these, made some comparisons to the expensive version. So I'm just gonna show you how cool they are, basically. Cut the channel that allows these clamps to slide in and pull up on that V using one of those router bits. I don't know the proper name, sorry. I think this is gonna prove very handy. I've now got my little track saw. I can set these clamps up, match up this edge with the edge of the Zs, and then cut off the scrap underneath. So this plan has all worked in my head. These are awesome! Very, very awesome! Okay, this thing is working pretty cool. I'll continue making my way around the Z. G'day! Alright, quick channel shout out. This is a new channel. Uh, it's not a new concept. It's Ash from Woodwork and Whiskers and the show is called The Monday Meetup. Ash's show was doing really well on Instagram. Unfortunately, reels and TikToks and all those things have sort of killed the format over there. So he's brought it to YouTube so that he can do all his interviews with Aussie makers, tradies, the occasional internationals as well, uh, as he introduces lots of cool people, lots of cool makers. Good show, go and check it out. Alrighty, I have myself two Z legs. I've maximized the pallets that I had. I've got my decorative pallet tiles on this side, and on the inside, I've veneered all that decking I've got. So the three different layers, individually they wouldn't be very strong at all. All laminated together and going over where the joints are has reinforced this to make myself a nice chunky piece of timber. Now I've still got a fair bit to go with this. Um, let me quickly get some finish on just to show how this colour is going to look. Um, these are not finished by any means. So that's probably gonna do for this video. The plan from here is to cap these in pallet wood um, and then go ahead and make the frame and the top for this Z desk. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you got something out of it. Catch you later.